Namaste dear students and welcome to the virtual learning of SLV English Medium School. In the previous video, I discussed about the entire unit, the first unit of the 8th class English textbook, that is the family. And I had told you that within the uh, first unit of the family, there are three lessons the tattered blanket, my mother, and letter to a friend. And today in this video, we are going to learn the first lesson of your 8th class, that is the tattered blanket. First and foremost, let us try to understand what is the whole entire lesson speaking about. The lesson, the tattered blanket, is written by the writer, the Malayali writer, that is Mrs. Kamala Das, and she uh, was born in 1932 and died in 2009. So from the examination perspective, you are not asked any question about the writer or author of the lesson. So, you are not very much needed and required to understand about the author of the lesson. Moving, the lesson, the tattered blanket, tells us about how the modern society, how the grown-ups of today's world are neglecting their parents. How the children of the modern world are running behind wealth, career and their own congested small families and leaving behind all the hardships that their parents bore. It tells about how parents are neglected in the society today and how so many old age homes are coming up in the world today. Even in our own country where we loudly proclaim our slogans of respecting our parents as Madhu Devo Bhava and Pitu Devo Bhava where we proclaim to the entire world about Vasudai Kutumbam which means the whole world is one family. Even in our own country, the hundreds and hundreds of old age homes where children fail their parents, where children fail to look after their parents. So the lesson, the tattered blanket, explains us and tells us about how a son who left behind his mother in search of establishing his career and his own family. He is failing to fulfill his responsibility to his parents. And what is the response that mother is giving to her son? So all these things are explained in the lesson, the tattered blanket, very well, in strong emotions by the other Kamala Das. So without any further delay, we start our lesson, the tatter a blanket. So dear students, all of you take your textbooks and look into the text. Now, the tatter blanket. The tatter blanket. The lesson is written by Kamala Das and it speaks about the relationship between a son and his mother. So, beginning with the title, the tattered blanket. Tattered means old, torn, worn out blanket. I hope you all know what is a blanket. A blanket that is very old, that is something uh, you cannot use any longer. So such blanket is called the tattered blanket. 
You'll all understand as we look into the text why the lesson is titled The Tattered Blanket. So, I'll be reading the text. Follow the textbook. When he arrived unexpectedly at his home in the countryside in his office car and got down at the gate, his mother, who was lying in an armchair on the veranda, made a futile attempt to get up. Kamala, there is somebody at the gate, she said. Somebody is in a car. Kamala, her eldest daughter, a widow, who was sitting huddled up on the tina on the veranda, her head and ears covered with a thin bath towel, got up reluctantly, walked slowly to the gate, and screwing up her eyes, peered into the darkness. So try to understand, imagine how the sun is coming in a car and stopping at the gate. And in this lesson, it's very important to remember there are three characters. Firstly, Amma, the old woman. Then there is Gopi, the son. Then Kamala, that is the elder sister of Gopi. So Amma has her uh, two children. They are Gopi and Kamala. So Gopi came in a car and stopped at the gate. And Amma is saying, Kamala, there is somebody at the gate. Somebody is in a car. Find out who it is. Because she heard the noise of the car coming and stopping by the gate. And Kamala is going to find out who is in the car. Now who is Kamala? That is the elder sister of Gopi, the son. And she is a widow. And how is she? She is covering her hair with a thin bath towel. Now, in this particular paragraph, there are uh, some important words that you should be remembering. Firstly, unexpectedly, something that happens quickly, suddenly, without any prior intimation. Then there is countryside. They are living in the countryside, which means village. Then, Amma made a futile attempt to get up. Futile means uses she is very old and sick and she made an attempt to get up she tried to get up but it was futile futile means useless that means she could not get up then the word reluctantly pay attention to the um, spelling reluctantly reluctantly means unwillingly Kamala is approaching the gate Unwillingly. Who is at the gate? That is Gobi. Screwing up. Now, what is screwing up the eyes? It's an expression. Screwing up uh, the eyes. See, when you are, uh, we find, um, when we are coming from a dark uh, place into the light, or when we were in the light for a long time and entering into a dark spot. We screw up our eyes, we rub our eyes to make our vision clear. So screwing up means rubbing the eyes. Then there is peered into darkness. Peered into darkness. That means looked, looked sternly, intently into darkness. I hope you've understood the meanings that are in that particular paragraph. So now what happened? Gopi came to the house of the mother and Kamala, her, his eldest uh, sister, is uh, approaching to the gate, going to the gate to find out who actually came. And how is she going? She is going, screwing up her eyes. Next page. She saw a bald, fat, middle-aged man walking in through the gate. Who is walking into the gate? And how is she? How is he? He is bald. Bald means he doesn't have hair uh, in, on his head. Partly he is bald and he is fat. And he is a middle-aged man. He is in his 30s and 40s. 
and he is walking in through the gate. Then Kamala is saying, Oh, Gopi, she said in her grating voice, Why this unexpected visit? She is asking him, Why, Gopi, why, why is this sudden visit? Why you come so uh, in, uninforming? Kamala, who is it? Her mother asked loudly from the veranda. When Kamala is greeting Gopi, mother who is lying in an armchair on the veranda is asking Kamala, Kamala, who is it? Gopi, the man said. There was a meeting in Tiruvannamuram. I just dropped in on my way back. So Gopi is saying, Mom, it's me. It's Gopi. I had a meeting in Tiruvannamuram. And when I am returning back to my city where I am working, I just came to see you. I just dropped by. Who? Kamala? Who is it? Remember, um, the mother is in her old age and she has audible problems. She cannot hear properly. Then, uh, though Gopi responded that it's me, Gopi, Amma is asking again, Kamala, who is it? There was a note of alarm in Amma's voice. There is a note, a sound of alarm in Amma's voice. What is alarm? Alarm means surprise or shock. Imagine you are sleeping in deep. And early morning, you hear the noise of alarm. Do you peacefully get up? No. You wake up shocked. You wake up surprised. So, alarm means shocked. Now, whose, no, uh, whose tone was alarming? Amma's voice was alarming. Amma, why are you so scared? Kamala is asking. Um, Amma, why are you so scared? Scared means to be frightened, to be alarmed. Kamala, Gopi's eldest sister, asked her a little awkwardly. Awkwardly means irritatedly or uncomfortably. She is asking, why are you so shocked? Why are you so surprised? And why are you alarmed? Why are you so scared? So she is asking in, a, in an awkward manner. As if you are seeing Gopi for the first time. So Gopi is the son of the Amma. And why is she, she uh, so, so shocked? What is the reason Amma is getting shocked? Kamala doesn't understand. Because of that, she is speaking in an awkward note. Amma, it's me, Gopi, he said again. He bent down and brought his face close to her wrinkled cheeks. Gobi is bending his head and bringing his face close to Amma's face. And how is, uh, how is, and how is Amma's face? Her cheeks are all wrinkled, folded because of old age. So Gobi brought his face close to Amma's face so that Amma can see Gobi clearly. Amma, it's me. Gopi, Kamala, I can't believe it. Has his school closed for a vacation? So Amma is still shocked and asking Kamala, Kamala, how come Gopi came? Has his school closed for vacation? Vacation means holidays. So Amma is inquiring Kamala, Kamala, what is the reason that Gopi came to the house? Has his school closed for vacation? How come he came after so many days? So Kamala is say, uh, talking to Gopi. Amma is often like this these days. She doesn't recognize anybody. Gopi's sister explained. To whom? To Gopi. Kamala is explaining to Gopi about the situation of Amma. But sometimes her memory is quite sharp. Then she asks me if you have sent any letter. I tell her everything is fine with you. 
Vimala and the kids. Now, who is Vimala? Vimala is the wife of Gobi. What is the point of telling her that you have been written for a year? Poor thing. I will dream of making her unhappy. So, Kamala is explaining the situation of Amma to her brother Gobi. She is telling, Amma is like this these days. She doesn't recognize anybody because of the falling ages, because of her old age. She put a lot of years now. Because of that, her memory is diminishing. Her memory is becoming weak. She doesn't recognize anybody. But at times, she does remember Gopi, Vimala and their kids. And when she remembers, Amma asks Kamala about them. Whether they are fine, whether they have written a letter. But what's the bitter truth? Gopi, Vimala and their kids have not written a single letter for a complete year. They have not written even a letter for an entire year. But Kamala tries to calm Amma, tries to soothe Amma, saying everybody is fine. They are writing letters.